It grips me. It holds me. Double taps. They control me. I dislike how I look, but your likes, they console me. And you may think I'm okay by my likes and my smile, by my online persona and my current trending style. But do not be deceived by how many Snapchats you've received, or Instagram stories I've posted, or the followers I've achieved. For there's more to me than what meets the eye, unfiltered, stripped back, just your average young girl or guy. Insecure, lonely, I'm scared, I'm shy. I'll avoid you in person, but I'll chat you online. Loving the hair, hun, those new shoes are rapid. Thanks to Alder Pennies, delighted we've chatted. Rate me, like me, love me, subscribe. Follow me, swipe right. Do you even notice when I go live? Snap me there, we can talk half face to half face. An ever growing epidemic, throwback for a second to Bebo and MySpace. Apps to whiten our teeth, apps to crop out our feet, apps to make us look slimmer. Wait, I got no likes. Delete. Apps to take red from our eyes, apps to slim down our thighs, apps to hide who we are, apps to tell ourselves lies. Make me look better, please, please, however. Don't judge me in person. Oh, I wish this lighting was better. Unfilter, unwind. Take off your makeup, don't hide. Try not to let social media profiles be how you're defined. You are important, you're beautiful, and the world needs the you that you are. And that's non-gender specific, small, medium or large. Black, white or other, sporty, musical or none. More than all the above, let's be united as one. It all starts with you, that is true. Take the lead, be the change that we need, the transitioning seed. See past the filters, fall in love with the you the world needs, a greater perception for a healthier newsfeed.